My name is Brooks Cluton. I'm a senior. I play offense and defensive line. Um, it was a good year. Um, glad to be back after my knee injury um, two years ago. My name is Dalton Davis. I played cornerback and wide receiver. Um, this is my senior year. Um, I thought we could have done better. I thought we had a, a decent season, but obviously uh, every season can't go the way you want it. And um, this year we had a lot of uh, injuries and um, it was just unfortunate with uh, how many seniors we had out and how many players that we could have had playing. But um, overall, I think we, we did well. We fought until the very end, and uh, not much more you can ask for your senior year. Um, I thought individually, I thought I did well and can't give enough credit to these guys that are around me. I'm Aiden McCarty. I play football at Belfouche. I play tight end and middle linebacker. I feel like the season probably could have went a lot better. We were a little bit in injury plagued, so it was it was a little bit harder throughout the season. Uh, the first three games were pretty hard for us, and I think like that was part of the reason why it kind of fell apart on us later in the season, just because of the injuries we endured in the first three, four games. But overall, I thought we did pretty good with the guys we had, and a lot of people stepped up, and it was it was a very enjoyable and fun season. Busy with the Bronx head football coach Scott Sloten and Scott. Uh, Going to recap the 2021 season, and uh, I know you had a tough schedule, but a pretty good year. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, coming into the season, we had we had bigger goals than what we accomplished, but uh, you know, I, I thought the players that we had that came out and that stayed healthy really fought hard all season. Uh, starting with that buzz saw the first three games. Uh, three perennial powerhouses. They really took us, took it to us and gave us a little reality check at where we needed to be. And then we started rolling with a few wins and uh, we got into the heart of our Black Hills Conference schedule. And I, I thought that, you know, that first half against Sturgis, we really competed having, having the lead at half. And uh, then uh, obviously the wheels fell off. And from there on out, uh, the boys kept fighting and playing hard, but we didn't get the wins that we needed to compete in the conference, and that's one of our goals every year is to win that Black Hills Conference title and uh, get to the playoffs. So we you know, fell short of both our main goals, uh, but end of the season with a fight against Spearfish, uh, kudos to Spearfish, uh, get, get, playing one hell of a game, and they, you know, they beat us 28-21, uh, but I couldn't ask more of our seniors and our rest of our team uh, for their fight they gave us in that game, and I, I really felt that uh, they left it all on the field, and you could tell by the emotions afterwards. The emotions were tough after that game, and knowing that it, for those seniors, it finally was coming to an end. And you know, I can't thank that senior class enough. A, a lot of them gave you know four great years to this program, and they worked hard in the weight room. They worked hard uh, in practice, and they were really great leaders for us. And I can't thank them enough. We didn't know going into the season exactly who all our linebackers were going to be and we started Jamin Sexer there. Uh, he's a sophomore and he really flew around early on and got a lot of tackles for us at middle linebacker and he, you know, we threw him in different positions all year long, switched, switched him to defensive end a few times and he played good off the edge of defensive end. And then after all the injuries hit, we had to move him to the offensive line too and he stepped in as a starter on the offensive line and really improved throughout the whole year. Um, I thought Kyron Newley, uh, another sophomore, we, we, we knew how talented he could be and it took a few weeks, but he really came on strong playing outside linebacker safety for us, playing and at running back. He had some really good games in the middle of the season at running back. And uh, then um, obviously at the end of the season, Nolan Walfeld stepping in at quarterback when Anthony uh, Budmeyer went down. And when he went down, he got injured and uh, Nolan stepped in and really, really, really did a great job at quarterback. Obviously had a little fumbling issue, but we'll get that taken care of. And, but him throwing the ball and his presence in the pocket was just, was just really good. And I can't be proud of, more proud of him is the way he stepped up. And those are, those are three sophomores that stepped up. And there's plenty of other players that you know, stepped up in different positions. But I could go on and on about the team. And, uh, but a lot of players stepped up, but those three really stood out. Well, Coach Sloten, always good to visit with you throughout the season each week and you know a lot of pride in Bronx football and uh, we appreciate it. Hey, thank you guys. You guys do a great job doing this for our community and I I know that the viewers love hearing about Bronx football and I'm glad that you guys are doing this for us and hopefully you can continue doing it in the future. Go Bronx. Coach Slice here and uh, yeah, just um, quick season wrap up, I guess. Uh, you know, we uh, had some pretty tough opponents out of the gate and then uh, 
yeah, we got into our conference play after that and won a couple games and then uh, fought hard all the way through. And, uh, um, you know, I coach special teams and stuff. And, um, you know, I think each year we, we improve in certain areas. You know, there's obvious um, areas that we always need to, to focus on and, and improve each season. And I, I feel like we do that. And, uh, you know, uh, slowly but surely, we can just keep getting better and better and more complete as a team. And, uh, you know, this year, um, you know, we, we did some really good things on special teams. Um, but, you know, we still uh, found some areas that we need to improve on. And uh, we just got to keep working hard. And, and uh, you know, we, we need to make sure that our kids stay active and get involved in the off season and stuff like that. And then um, over the summer, we, we really need to get on them to, to get in and, uh, you know, get in the weight room, um, get in shape, and get ready for, for next year. Because, uh, we, you know, we got to keep, just got to keep building, got to keep uh, uh, grinding and fighting, get this thing moving in the right direction. I'm Matthew Raba, I'm the defensive coordinator for the Belfouche Bronx football team. Um, I felt like defensively, we actually, our, our kids did a great job of uh, prepping and getting ready for um, opponents. Um, but, uh, Sometimes we were just overmatched and we had a little bit of a difficult time uh, uh, making the plays that we needed to play or needed to make. I was uh, actually thinking about this last night um, that I think in every game except for Douglas and Custer, we allowed an opening drive touchdown. And so that was one thing that was uh, kind of put us in a hole in a lot of our games. but. I do have to give credit to the kids because we seem to bounce back in most of those games too and uh, kind of stand up and, and hold up. So I think next year we need to find a, a little better way to start the game off on a, on a little bit stronger foot and, uh, and give our team a, a little bit better chance.